again and welcome back to the small watch channel i'm very glad to have you here today with me that's annie behind me she's chilling because it is summer it is almost july 4th at the time of this recording i'm very very excited for a very chill holiday got my crocs on wiggle 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 and we're just gonna look at a couple of rad summer watches together so let's get started all right well let's go ahead and jump in here today we have on the table a couple of really rad yellow pieces from casio i know i'm on a casio kick i promise and some other things we're going to look at on this channel but i you know i just can't help it summer just brings out that casio love in me uh and no more so than with these yellow pieces i don't know yellow just screams summer to me you got the sun out the guns out you know like, uh, and so I wanted to pull these pieces out and talk about them a little bit. I thought they were interesting ones to contrast, not only because they are pretty much, uh, you know, fairly common pieces, I would say, uh, but they also have a big contrast between the shades of yellow as well. So something to kind of meet all needs, I think. On the left here, we do have the classic, the OG, the F91W. Oh my gosh, the ubiquitous F91W. It is a fantastic piece, one I'm a huge fan of. I actually uh, did get the, you know, the real OG one, you know, way, way back when I've got that one. I use this primarily as sort of like a gym watch a lot of the times. Uh, but I picked up this yellow one to be a little bit more fashion forward. I do like it a lot. It provides a nice little kick of color uh, without being kind of one you have to worry about. You know, it's a fairly cheaper piece. If I recall correctly, I do think I paid a little bit of a premium for this yellow piece, though. Uh, because it wasn't really readily available when I finally did obtain it. I think I might have spent somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 bucks for it, you know, which is a little bit more than you might spend for that standard Casio, but I feel like it was well worth it. On the right here, we do have another Stone Cold Classic, the 5600, the classic square G-Shock. Uh, I thought it was a nice contrasting piece. It's you know one that I've worn quite a bit as well this summer. I've worn it in the pool. You get that amazing 200 meters of water resistance. Always feels super safe no matter where it goes. I just love it to pieces. While we do have both of the pieces up here, you know, for us to see kind of front and center, I did want to kind of call your attention to the color difference. On the right, we have sort of a fluorescent highlighter yellow for the G-Shock Square uh, on the table here today. It is super bright. It screams warning sign. It screams radioactive. It screams in general. Uh, and so it's one that is not going to be a subtle piece on your wrist. On the left there, you do have the F91W, a much more subdued colorway. This yellow, I have to say, is more like a mustard Maybe even like a fancy Dijon mustard, you know, something along those lines. Uh, when I'm looking at it, you know, if I'm looking really deep into it, you know, Ferris Bueller at the museum style, I do feel that I almost detect little hints of orange or brown. Uh, you know, it really is kind of like a deeper shade, a more complex shade, uh, I have to say. And I really do like this one quite a bit. Still gives you that nice pop of color without being too garish. So now that we've got the generalities out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at them individually. I will do a quick wrist check before we do so while I'm here. Uh, let's see what we got going here. So we actually have the another square, incidentally. Uh, this is the 5610U, one that I actually got fairly recently, and I am just loving to death. I'm not going to lie to you. It is one that, I don't know, it just feels like the quintessential G-Shock for me. Uh, very, very similar to the, you know, very, very old school pieces that, you know, were some of the original models. And it is one that I've just fallen in love with. I love the solar band. I, I could just go on and on. You know what? I'm going to hush because maybe we'll do an individual review of this in the future. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move along. All righty. So the F91W we'll start with first. What is there to say, really? You know, uh, if you're watching this channel, I would take a safe bet and say that you are familiar with this model, with this particular watch. It is one that I've been spitting with since the early days of my collecting journey. I just love it to pieces. It's so light on the wrist. It has all of your basic features that you expect out of, you know, any of the Casio G digital watches really from, you know, the vintage line or, you know, from most of the, you know, more basic G-Shocks and things like that. But you have your stopwatch and your timer. You've got alarms. You've got 
an admittedly kind of flimsy light. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and turn one of these lights off. All right, let's see this light. Pretty pathetic, I have to say. Can you see it? <laughs> Not the best light in the world, but you don't need it. And you don't need it for such a cost-effective item. Uh, it is one that gets the job done. If you really do need to see the light, and if it's pitch dark, you can find that light. You can find uh, that particular time and see what's going on. I highly recommend it. There are other models, of course, as you saw earlier. We do have the classic, the OG over here. Uh, the nice blue, you know, those classic accents, those red and blue accents, and even some yellow accents on that original as well. But there's so many different colorways these days. It's pretty insane. I feel like I find new ones all the time. Uh, with regard to these colors, there are some other brightly colored models that are very, very similar to this, those monochromatic colors. There's a light blue one, a kind of a hot pink one, an orange one. I've seen a light green one as well. It's really vibrant lime green. Uh, all of those are pretty amazing. Uh, they have jelly models that are clear and translucent. Uh, they have other models that are kind of two-toned that have, you know, the bezel and the case, a certain color, but different bands. Uh, just so many amazing ones. You really can't go wrong. I'm not going to lie. So whatever is going to suit your needs, suit your wardrobe, suit your fashion sense, go after it. Just to give you another little bit of a rundown here of the features that I mentioned before, I will go ahead and click through them. Again, you have that alarm. You have the stopwatch. You have, of course, the time setting feature. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need. I feel like most people that, you know, talk about wanting more features on a watch, they're not going to use it very often, I find. I find that I hardly ever use the stopwatch feature or the alarm feature for these particular watches. And that's okay. That's what we have our smartphones for. Mostly, the watches at this point are more so fashion items, at least for me. Uh, and that's okay. I treat them as such, and I accept them as such. If we want to see a little bit more about what the watch looks like, of course, you get that very, very thin profile that you come to expect uh, from these F91W models. Screw down case back, nothing special really here. Not really one that you're going to go swimming with. The water resistance is not very high. Uh, but, you know, anecdotally, I've heard many people that do shower, swim, even go in the ocean with this model, uh, and not really have any troubles as long as they don't go pressing the buttons uh, while they are submerged. So, you know, your mileage may vary as far as that goes. Overall, just a fantastic piece. If you do not have an F91W in your collection, what are you doing? Go get one. All right, all right, all right. All right. A fantastic model that we have here for a G-Shock Square. Uh, as you've probably gathered from previous videos and from this one in particular, uh, you know, just thinking about my wrist check and thinking about what we're actually examining today, I am a huge Square fan. I actually have several squares, some that you have not seen as yet on the channel. Uh, I plan on showcasing more in the future. Uh, but this one really just caught my eye. I was kind of smitten with this one from the start uh, once I discovered that there were these very, very bright G-Shock models available. It is pretty much a similar shade to the one that's really hot right now. The summer, the 2100 Cassioke, uh, the new model that is Bluetooth compatible and tough solar. Uh, that model has a very, very similar, I believe, pretty much the exact shade of yellow. Um, however, I wasn't really keen on that one. I actually ordered this one instead, weirdly enough. So I was going a little bit of against the grain in the market. Uh, but this one really caught my eye. And, you know, I have a 2100 that I will probably cover on this channel eventually. But, you know, I'm not really totally in love with that model. So the squares are where I'm at. This is actually a fairly recent release version of this watch. Uh, this particular G-Shock shade you know colorway uh was actually available way way back as one of the early color variants of the g-shock in general back in the 80s there is recently as well a set that came out with interchangeable bezels and bands uh with the red yellow and black that one i believe is distinguished by having a carbon core structure uh which this particular model does not have you know not a big deal uh, the shock absorbing structure on this particular model is still very robust, just like all the G-Shock models. And so I'm not really sweating it, especially because the price was quite a bit higher to get that whole set versus this particular one watch. So I am sitting pretty as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you're familiar with G-Shock squares or, you know, most G-Shocks in general, especially the digital ones, I would say, you know what's on the table here with our features. We, of course, have the time setting with the day. With the day date, we also have the alarm available for us. We have the timer. 
we have a stopwatch. And that is the long and short of it. This particular model does have, you know, just the classic electroluminescent light. I should probably turn off the light here so you can see it a bit better. It gets the job done. Electroluminescent light, very, very classic, soft green glow. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I'm actually going to keep this one short. Mostly, I feel like this one, the real selling point is the color. Uh, this bright yellow, bumble, you know, yellow and black bumblebee uh, kind of vibe that comes with it. You do have the guard uh, and the buckle and pin. Uh, black as well, metal with black coating here for the buckle, by the way. Uh, and I just think it looks right smart, right handsome. Uh, so definitely go ahead and grab one if you like it. Uh, they are out there fairly readily available uh, if you do a little bit of shopping there. You can usually find it uh, new stock as well, like even though it has been discontinued, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you can definitely find new stock still readily available. And if you are really jonesing for some, you know, some old tech, some vintage stuff, you can go find out, find the original pieces, uh, you know, from back in the day, if that is your bag. Well, I'm going to keep this one short, y'all. If you enjoyed this particular review or, you know, Yellow Extravaganza, definitely feel free to continue following me on the channel. You can always sub. I would love to hear your thoughts about these particular models or if you have other yellow watches that you particularly love. There's so many amazing yellow uh, watches out there. I've been really kind of tuned into that scene uh, this summer. So I would love to hear your takes there. I do look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a rad day. You take care now.